I'm making Thanksgiving dinner and we're gonna make homemade pie. So that's the turkey. Um, there's still stuff to do to it. It was sitting in the fridge all night. Um, yeah, so that's that. And I made my green bean casserole last night. I did a cheesy broccoli. I did like a honey glazed carrots. I'll take all that out in a second, actually. There. You want to say hi? You want to say hi? See, I'm so big now. Are you smiling for the camera? Somebody's not camera shy. <gasps> Can you spin? Spin. 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 There, spin. Come on. Hey, where are you going? Spin. There, come here. Where are you going? Spin. Good boy. Sit. Fist bump. Fist bump. Good boy. High five. Good boy. Shake. Good boy. Fist bump. Good boy. Down. Good boy. There. Are you ready for Christmas? You're going to be a year old. Say, oh my God. He's 11 months still. I mean, not still. He's 11 months right now. I can't believe he's going to be a year soon. I don't know if he'll grow any bigger. Maybe a little bit. I don't know. Do they really grow past a year? He's so big. He's almost 100 pounds. He actually, he might be 100 pounds. I don't know. Bear, you're so spoiled. What did you get for Thanksgiving bark box? Where is your toys? They're all over the place. I keep trying to clean up. And he just like makes a mess. So he got butter. And he got this little turkey. And he got a cranberry thing. Which I've been putting treats in here and he loves it. But I'm a little, I was worried because they said that uh, the dog's teeth have been getting stuck. But I don't think he's... Um, he's... I don't think... I'm not too worried about that with him. I think that's all you got. Yeah. By the way, my opinion on BarkBox, I loved it. I love having it. But next month, I don't know if we'll get the Christmas box because we got that technically in February. That was one of my first BarkBox videos. Um, I definitely think it's better to have it as like a special treat and pick which box you want like it was fun having the surprise for like a year um but i don't think it's worth like having every month uh but definitely good if you have a puppy who constantly is destroying toys but definitely like the price i don't think it's worth to do every single month and we had a year subscription and i'm actually really excited that it's ending in december but i mean we'll still order from them probably like larger packs and just choose what i want or choose which box i want and i think that's that's more fun because we did it now you know and i'd rather pick what i want but i don't think it's worth having like continuously all the time um unless you're getting like the super deluxe box because we had the basic one and it was only like three, four toys. Um, but the customer service is amazing. If there's anything you don't like, they will send you replacements for free. They've been great on that. Um, definitely love the company. But I just like, we're just going to discontinue it. But definitely like he's still going to be spoiled. But he has so many toys he doesn't need anymore. And I'm constantly cleaning them up and he's just pulling them all right back out. But yeah, I'm just a quick bark box review. <laughs> Wait, so we're gonna set the oven to 400. So the first thing you're gonna do is cut the tops off the pumpkins and cut them into quarters.
Remove all the seeds and as much string as possible. Bear loves the pumpkin seeds. So healthy for dogs. So after they're cut into quarters and you move everything as much as you can, you're going to put it in the oven on 400 for about 50 minutes. Bear thinks the pump, the turkey, I mean, smells so good. Back to making my cranberry sauce. I used to always buy the canned stuff, and now I do it fresh. I honestly like both. Fresh is for sure better, of course. So it's just dark brown sugar and orange juice. Is it raining outside? It's so cozy. So we're going to start working on the pie crust now. We're going to add the flour. And the pumpkin is now done. You can test it just to like with a knife, you just want it to be super soft. And adding a little bit of salt. And then we're just gonna stir that around and then we're gonna add the butter and the vegetable shortening. Make sure to keep the dough cold. And this is just some biscuits. Why are you recording me? I don't know. <laughs> so make sure you peel the skin off of the pumpkin. So it's finally done. So I'm just gonna put everything into a blender because it's just way easier than whisking it. And I don't want any like strings in my pie. I want it nice and smooth. So I highly recommend blending it.
Next, what you're going to do is you're going to flower your base. And it actually it might be easier to do this on the counter. But I'm using parchment paper. And you're just going to create your dough. If it's too dry, you slowly want to dip your fingers in ice water and slowly add more and more until it does become a dough. And if you find your dough is too moist, you just want to add more flour. But be careful not to add too much water. So just keep doing that until it becomes a dough. So keep working on your dough. You want to form it into a ball. Which you're then going to cut in two halves. Or in half. And then you're going to want to roll those out. I decided the parchment paper is driving me crazy, so I'm actually going to get rid of it and use the counter, which I recommended before anyway, because it's definitely way better. But you're just going to roll those out really well. So after that, you always want to keep your dough cold. So I'm actually going to put them in the freezer because it does say put them in the fridge for three hours. But I don't have time for that. So I'm going to put them in the freezer so that we can get back to it ASAP. Also, by the way, you don't need two dough rolls. So feel free to freeze the other. This is the second pumpkin pie we attempted to bake but it ended up not working out because the pan wasn't great otherwise it would have been a great pie so sadly that got thrown out in the end of this video everything is ready my first time baking homemade mac and cheese green bean casserole honey glazed carrots broccoli and cheese mashed potatoes and some festive drinks hey guys so after cooking all night last night i started not feeling good i felt like i was kind of getting sick all day yesterday i kept sneezing a lot which i never sneeze unless i'm getting sick but i was like hopefully i can fight it in time and then i woke up today and just felt horrible so i've just been home all day also fun story last night the oven started smoking so i was freaking out so i couldn't finish the pies and so i called maintenance over and they're like oh that's that's fine like it's nothing bad it's just something needs to be burnt off so i left it on i let it like smoke and then um, I kept airing it out, and then it finally stopped. Uh, so I could have baked the pie last night anyway, but I was I wasn't sure what was going on. So I'm gonna finish. The other one only needs 30 minutes in the oven, and then the other one I just rewashed the dish, and we are going to do the pie crust finally and bake that one. So we're gonna flour our work area first. You don't need too much, just a little bit. And then we're going to get the dough out of the freezer and just re-roll it out. And we want it to be super thin. So your dough should look like this. Also, I thought you had to butter the dish, but you don't. So 
So you want to roll part of the dough around the rolling pin just so it's easier to get in the pie pan. Just carefully lift that and then once you get it in there, just make sure it's, of course, evenly in the middle. And then you just want to flatten the dough out against the edges and kind of tuck it into the edges as much as possible so that it looks like this. Then next you're going to want to get a fork and you're just going to go around the edges and create those little dents, I guess, that you can you see on the pie crust. I forget what that's called. So we're going to use parchment paper to just kind of cover the bottom of the pie so that that doesn't bake as much and also that we can use our pie weights. You can cut around the parchment paper to make sure that it's not like sticking out all the way like that. If you don't have pie weights, you can use any kind of dry beans. I used pento beans. I think that's what that's called. I forget. <laughs> Spend my time running around, keeping people pleased. But this is my favorite holiday. So I had to take the other pie out because the oven started smoking again and my alarm started going off. So I just had to open all the windows, and this is fun. It's a chance to start over new. I you, so, I'm so I actually want to tell you guys what ended up happening with the oven. I thought the oven broke because I was cooking for like all day and a half. So I don't know. I've never had the oven do that before. So I thought it broke. And it turned out after I took this pie out. And I was so annoyed because then I had to redo the entire process of... The maintenance guy came, he checked everything, and he's like, there's just probably something that just needs to burn off, just let it burn off. So he's like, just slowly, like whatever you're comfortable with, just slowly set it at like, it's, it was burning more so at like 300, 400, the higher the temperature. So he's like, whatever you're comfortable with, just like keep it in, let it burn for 10 minutes, ventilate it, and then just repeat until it stops. So I did that and then I put this pie back in and then I re really had to do that entire process again until I could bake my, um, the second pie. So that was so annoying, but I figured out, because I was like, how does the oven just break? This doesn't make sense, but I don't know. So that pie, the, the round dish one, uh, was not great there was oil a ton of oil seeping through the bottom because i picked it up and i'm like oh my god this is what it is this, this pan is so oily so that pie got ruined it was destroyed it was trash so figured out what it was <laughs> it's kind of funny kind of not but um glad i figured it out glad my oven's not broken but that's what happened if you can't tell, it's the next morning. So you're gonna get a bowl, add one egg, and then you're gonna get one tablespoon of milk. And if you have a pastry, oh my God, I cannot think of the word. Whatever this is called, you're going to just put it around the edges, a pastry brush, um, but just put it around the edges. Bear, what are you doing?
There, spin. Spin. Good boy. He wants to go outside so bad. I thought I could get it on record, but I couldn't. But he figured out how to open the screen door to go outside. So after your pie has been in the oven for 10 minutes, you're going to take the pie weights out. And you can always keep those for another pie for future use. And then you are going to, with a fork, create a ton of little ventilation holes all over the bottom of your pie crust. Then continue to bake back in the oven for eight more minutes. There. What are you doing? Did you just open the door? Did you just open the door? So yay, the pie crust is done baking. You're going to add the filling. And then continue baking on 375 for, five, for 55 minutes to an hour. So you do want to set a second timer for 25 minutes so that you can check on the pie crust and then you're going to wrap the pie crust in aluminum foil so that that doesn't overcook and then put it right back in. What's in the oven? It is done. I am so proud of myself. First ever home baked scratch from pumpkins pie. Pumpkin pie. I can't wait to try it. So I'm gonna leave it here to cool for three hours and then we're gonna do a taste test. So you were supposed to wait two to three hours to let the pie cool, but I'm going to taste test it now. Just like a little bit. It is so good. I'm going to try to get the crust. Oh my god. It's really good. Ah, uh, it's so good. If you make this, I hope you enjoy it. And I hope you enjoyed this vlog. As you can tell, I am sick. So we are going to bear once some pie. We are going to just go relax now. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe if you're not. Bye, guys.